Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 9 of June Lit Coding Challenge and the problem is is subsequence. So let's read the problem statement. Given a string s and a string t, check if s is a subsequence of t. A subsequence of a string is a new string which is formed from the original string by deleting some character or none of the characters without disturbing the relative position of the remaining characters. Let's for example, we have a string a, c, e is a subsequence of a string a b c d e how if we delete b and d and the relative order of a c e in original string is same so, and it is a uh, matching so it is a subsequence while if we have a e c which is not because is uh, if we delete b and d but the relative order of uh, e and uh, c is reverse in our uh, string so how can we solve this problem? So let me explain the algorithm here. What I can do, I will take a pointer, two pointers. I will solve this problem but with the two pointer help. So here, so we will take a two pointer, one pointer i, i is for s and j is for t. Then what we can do, we will check the characters like if character of s of i, if s dot caret of i is equals to t dot caret of i j this means we have to increment both the pointers like i plus plus and j plus plus and if we don't get this not equal other so this if this is not equal it's like s dot care at i is not equal to as t dot care at j in that case we just increment the pointer j plus plus not the i plus plus because we have to find all the character in a string as in the correct string t in a same relative order so this is what the algorithm let me walk through the given example one so here is the example one we have a string s and t a b c and uh, this is the example one and let me start like i initially zero and j is also initially zero so we will check whether s of g character 0 is 0 so yes we have a equals to b a equals to a in s and t so in that case our in that case our i will be become 1 and j will also become 1 and the second call what we can do we will compare the second character of uh, string s and t so we have b b is not equal to h so in that case we just increment j so i is again the same one and the j is two now we reach on the one two now we will compare b with if b is equal to b yes b is equal to e in that case we will increment both the pointer i as well as j so j will become three now we will compare the character in s at two index two which is c is equals to character in t at index 4 is g which is not equal so we just increment j not i so i is again 2 and j will be incremented by 1 it become 4 again we will compare c is equals not equal to d in that case also we just increment to j j will become 5 so here we have c equals to c so this will be i become 3 and j will become 6 so now we reach at the end of the string so once we reach at the end of the string of either s or t for s case we will just compare whether s index is equal to the s dot length if we reach the end of the string s in that case we found the subsequence of s in t so we have to re result is equal to true otherwise if we don't get else if this is not if i not equal s dot length in that case we didn't found all the character of s in t so this will be written false so the result will be false here so let's start the implementation so let's first start the iterative approach so the iterative approach is very simple so we need two integer which will be a pointer like i is equal to 0 and int j is equal to 0 and then we will use the while loop so while i is less than s dot length and j is less than t dot length if s dot care at i is equals to t dot care t dot care at j 
then we have to increment both the pointers so here i plus plus and in else case we have to only increment j plus plus so j will increment in both cases here so just this is the condition so in the end we just simply return if i is equal to as dot length or not so this is our code iterative version so let's compile the code So code is compiled and we are getting expected answer. Let's try some custom test case like instead of V, we have here E and E is not in the second T string. So we should get false. Let's try this. So we are getting expected. Let's submit our iterative solution and see whether it is accepted or not. So it is accepted. This is very simple solution. Iterative based on two pointers. So the time complexity of this solution is simple o of n we just is scanning that and n is a size of n is a size of n max of s and t and space we are using just constant and the space complexity is constant so that's a iterative solution so let's me uh, try to implement uh, recursive solution as well so this while loop can be converted into the recursive solution so i am removing this code for now this one and i will show you, uh, uh, so i will show you how can we implement this same code in the recursive solution as well so in recursive we will call a recursive method is subsequence recursive which is also a similar definition and we will pass a string s and t and the index i is 0 and g is 0 and we here we will implement this method let me copy this section and here append the indexes basically pointer for both int i and int j and we will compare if i is equal to s dot length this is the our base condition length then we will just return true if t if j is reach t dot length in that case we didn't found subsequent so we have to return false so this is our base case and otherwise we have to return return if s dot care at i is equals to t dot care at j then we have to return increment the both the pointers so let me take this call here and we will increment the both the pointer by one i plus one and j plus one otherwise if both character are not equal then we just increment the j pointer t pointer basically so j plus one so this is our recursive implementation let's compile the our code and see whether it is pass running or not so it is getting compiled and we are getting expected answer let's submit our recursive code so the recursive solution is going on and it is accepted so this is a recursive implementation of the same algorithm so if you see we have another problem here like follow up of the same problem so let me read this follow up statement if there are lots of incoming as say s1 s2 sk where k is greater than equal to 1v and you want to check one by one to see if t has the subsequence in the scenario how would you change your code so if we see our current approach the current approach of the let me revert this one and get the iterative code again back so this is the iterative solution what we did we just uh, scanning all the character of t and s and this so the time complexity of this doing for one string s is o of n but if we get many string and we have to compare let me write down the steps here so for follow up so this is for follow up so for follow up we are getting too many like s1 s2 and so on and so on we are getting till s of k and where k is where k is very big we see 1 billion so and let's say s has average length so average length of s average length of s is let's say l and uh, length of t is t 
and length and the number of uh, string number of uh, s is k so if we compare our all the string based on this approach so our algorithm will go o of o of k of n time we have to compare and the size multiplied by the size of s the size of s is l so this is what the complexity of our if we go with our uh, two pointer approach but what we can do for improving this like we know the t is fixed here so t t is uh, fixed so we can do some pre processing so pre processing on t pre processing on t and then come easily like we will form some kind of lookup so that we can easily check the character like particular character of s uh, is, is there so for pre-processing we will fill the characters of t in character comma list of index so all the uh, integer in the integer so all the we will do the mapping of characters based on their index so this will be the mapping of so character of t and the indexes in the t string so once we pre-process this in the map then for searching as what we can do we will just simply check for the each character we have to check we will use the binary search to find out whether the it is exists that character in the string the first we will check if character map dot contains the character or not contains key for the current character of s as dot care at i so care at i so this is let's say i is a loop for the character and s is a length so by using this we will do binary search binary search for the for the s character in t using uh, for index once we got that index of that character we will update that character index let's say this is called previous index so for next character so for next character for next x character we will look search in t after plus one so this way we will search all the characters of s in t so for making video short i already noted down the code i will show you the code and also share that code in the description so so here is the code so if i can explain you this this is what i explain you we will use the map and do the pre-processing here based on the characters of t and the index in the t so this is a pre-processing part here so we will iterate to each characters of t and fill in the map if it is already exist we will append the list otherwise we will add the new list and add that uh, index of that character so this is a pre-processing part and now there's another part we have to search the history like whether the s is exist in t or not so for that we will use the previous starting with minus one index and iterate through all the characters of s so this is what and uh, we will check if particular if any character not found if not found straightforward we will return true false here because we didn't found uh, some particular character of s in t so this is for the condition for that another case is if we found the character then we will look for the index at which index that character exists based on our previous so we will do the binary search by passing previous so the character should be after the uh, previous index so we will go through this and uh, we will pass the list in the binary so this is the binary search implementation using so here we will check if our mid character index is less than index then we will update the start to the mid plus one and if our character mid index is on the left side then we will reduce the end of mid minus one and in the once the while loop is exited then we will check if the start is reached to the end of the size of the list that means we didn't found any character or which is on uh, before the index after the index 
So in that case, we will return the minus one. Otherwise, we will return the index value of that uh, found character in T string. So once we got this previous, we will check if we found the minus one. That means we didn't found any more character which we are looking for. We will return the false here. If we found, otherwise we will update the previous for the next character and do this uh, until this loop is exited. Once this loop is exited successfully, we will return the true here. So this is a simple implementation. So the time complexity of this solution, let me explain is that the time complexity of this solution, like if we go with the old approach, the time complexity LKN, so the time complexity of this solution will be uh, O of L is the size l is a string length s of length and k is a total number of string and here is a log of n because we are searching each character so that's it if you have any concern please say, post the comment i will respond and like the video and subscribe my channel for future cooking videos thank you